Okay, let's go ahead and find the slope of this line. And this is a pretty basic algebra question. Now, if you don't know how to do this, don't panic. Uh, but you certainly want to stick around for a couple minutes so we can review this. But if you're taking any sort of algebra course, uh, you're going to have to find the slope of a lot of lines. And uh, what is the slope? Well, the slope, you can see we have a line here. The slope is indicated by the slope variable m, and it just has a certain value to it. It's uh, generally a fractional value, but it describes the angle or steepness of this line. So I'm like, okay, how, how do I know, how can I describe how steep this line is or what angle this line is? Well, that's where the slope comes in. And there's a specific definition and formula for the slope. So if you don't remember that, I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show you the formula in a second, and then you can uh, uh, tackle this problem. Or, but if you actually remember the formula and how to do this, that's awesome. Go ahead and put your answer in the comment section, then we'll kind of compare notes here in a second. But again, this is basic algebra stuff that you definitely need to know. And of course, I'm going to go through this problem thoroughly in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But um, basically, you know, if you are frustrated in mathematics, okay, maybe you feel like you, uh, you know, for multiple years, you've um, not done well. I'm just telling you right now, you can do great in math. And maybe you don't feel like you're getting enough math instruction, or maybe you're not connecting with your teacher's uh, teaching style, whatever the case is, I've been teaching math for decades and I really try to break things down in a super clear and understandable way so anyone can uh, be successful in math. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level in terms of mathematics, I can help you with your respective math courses. Now, if you're preparing for any test that has a math section on it, so I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplace, or Alex exam, a uh, CLEP exam, teacher certification exam, you get the idea. I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, I have a fantastic homeschool math program that you might want to check out. And if you don't have any math notes, well, you need something to study from, I'm going to let you um, check out my math notes. I'm going to put the links to my uh, notes in the description of this video. But if you want great grades in mathematics, you must take great math notes. That's non-negotiable. But uh, let's get into this problem. So let me show you the formula here. Okay, now if you, some of you out there are like, no, 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 don't show me this because you're still working on it. Well, then pause the video and put your answer in the comment section. But let me show you the formula for the slope. Okay, and then uh, we'll see how well you do with this. Okay, so here's how it is. So here, this is one point that's on a line. This is another point. So these are two points, okay, two x, y points as we have in this line. This is one point. Here is another point. And to find the slope, okay, that variable m, uh, that's how uh, that's the little variable we like to associate with the slope. But by definition, the slope is the rise over the run of a line. And the rise is the changes of the y's. OK, so uh, in a line or on a line, we have let me just show you right here. We have a change going on with the y values. And then we have another change going on with the x values. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, subtract the y values uh, over the or the differences of the x value. So you can kind of see this uh, setup right here. This is enough information for you to answer this question. So let me show you the problem again. All right, so here's our points, uh, 0, 2, and 8, 5. And here is the formula. Now, uh, I'm going to highlight a very, very common mistake that students make here in a second. But go ahead and calculate this. If you feel like you can do this now, go ahead and uh, use this formula. And then we're going to compare answers. So let me show you the uh, actual solution now. If you don't want to see it, pause the video. But let's get to it. Okay, so here is our problem 0285. Here is uh, the slope, m. Okay, and we're going to just basically subtract the y's over the differences of the x's. So let's get to it so where um what is y well remember in a point the first uh, value is x the second value is y so here in this point eight five eight is x and five is y so we'll start with this y and we're going to subtract it from this y so five minus two okay so this is one way we can do it we can also go two minus five as well now let's go ahead and subtract the x's eight and zero. Okay, this is the difference of the x's. So five minus two uh, is, of course, three. Eight minus zero is, of course, just eight. 
So the answer is 3 8 That is a slope. And if you got that right, let me go ahead and give you a nice little happy face for the day. An A plus and a 100%. Matter of fact, I'll throw in a nice 1986 flat top haircut as well. Nice job. But the story doesn't end just yet. Okay. Here is where uh, some of you may have made this error right here. Okay, so I'm going to break this solution. And this is probably one of the most common misunderstandings about the slope. So let's go ahead and take the differences of the y's. Let's go 5 minus 2. Okay, 5 minus 2. Everything seems fine. All right, because we're following the, uh, the uh, problem here. And then let's find the differences of the x's. Let's go 0 minus 8. 0 minus 8. And when I do this, okay, I'm subtracting the x's here. I'm subtracting the y's here. I get 3 over negative 8. 3 over negative 8. Now, if you got that answer... Okay, uh, this is incorrect because this is the correct answer. But why is this incorrect? Well, let me show you why. Okay, so here, when you're doing any slope problem, this is the best way you want to do it. Okay, let me show you. Let me erase this. Highlight or underline the point that you're going to start with. So here, I'm starting with 5 as my y information, and I'm subtracting away this 2. But because I started with this 5, okay, 5 minus 2, because I started with this point's information, I must start with the 8 down here in the bottom, okay, for it's my x. I can't switch. I can't start with this. And this is what I did here. This is the mistake I made, 0 minus 8, because you will get the wrong answer, okay? So what I always like to tell my students is you know, the best way to uh, – uh, do slow problems. Just underline the point you want to start with. Okay, so underline that point. So I'll start with this y here, and that means I'm going to need to start with uh, 8, okay, as my x down there. Now, you could underline this point. You would be fine. Okay, it would work out as well. All right, uh, if you just get a bunch of negative signs, but you would get the right answer. Okay, so this is it for this uh, video. Again, Slope is absolutely critical in algebra. You need to calculate it, but what seems you need to be able to calculate it, but what seems to be an easy application of a formula actually is filled of um, with little uh, places where students make mistakes. And I didn't even put in like negative values and fractional values. If I really wanted to be mean about it, I could have put in zero, uh, one half, and then we could have made this point four and one thirds over. Oh, I don't know, uh, three and one half. Okay, then I could put in negative values and I could really make this problem more difficult. But you know what? Let's just make sure you can first just do the uh, basic problems like this. All right, so if this video was helpful in some small way, go ahead and consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out in a big way. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos on my channel basic math all the way up to calculus. So I make these videos to help you out. So please take advantage of all the content that I make if you like my teaching style. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.